Welcome back to the channel. Today we are experimenting with solar powered heating and what we are heating is water. We are using solar power to heat and move this water in two different ways. So this experiment is solely based off of the sun being out and passively heating this greenhouse, passively heating this system we've created. Now before I get started, please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps us out a lot when we're sharing all of our content. Let's get right into this. I want to show what I've been experimenting with and usually I will bring a finished product or the finishing phases of a project to show what we're doing. This is just purely experimental. Now what I'm doing is using this solar powered drying box we had, I took some old recycled pond liner and stuck it on the inside to create a nice black box slide this back here you can see it's just kind of roughly thrown together with what I'm trying to achieve here I just had simply taken one single pane window put a hook through the top and I'm gonna seal these sides in a little better once I get it figured out how I want to set this up and like I said this is purely experimental so this solar box is going to catch all of the heat from the Sun and store it inside it heating this black tube which is hooked to a small bilge pump that we had and it has a DC motor and it completely runs off of solar power and we've got our 100 watt solar panel I will run outside we had just simply dug I'm gonna put some conduit over this or some type of protection to protect this we had dug underneath the greenhouse ran it out to our 100 watt solar panel jump back inside Coming back to our solar box here, this is what controls our solar panel and our pump. We've just got a very small battery backup in order to keep this running for a couple hours after the sun goes down here. So I'm gonna kick this pump on real quick just to show how much water it's moving here. Now we're getting pretty decent flow from this pump and it has been overcast all day long so we're just pulling UV rays that are coming through the clouds and storing them as energy to use in this system so now that I kind of showed the system and what I'm doing with it and how it operates when it's running I just wanted to talk about what we're gonna do with this hose and this is just a temporary setup I just wanted to test this out I have a bunch of extra hose and I'm gonna bury it in between all of our beds in order to bring it up and it will drop right back in our overflow tank in order to heat that up and continue to heat our beds up as long as we've got a little bit of sunlight in order to heat the box and to bank on our solar panel. So this little solar powered system is going to heat the beds for as long as we use this little box and this was all recycled material. This is all stuff we already had, we just put it together. And that's why I did it as a short term heating source, possibly long term, but it is completely dependent on the sun. So what all of this was for, our extra hose and pump and system, was to heat our greenhouse with gene pain composting, but we do not have our wood chips yet. So I just took what we had and built this in order to get some quick heat and heat up some of our beds. So this is just the trial phase and I have not gotten it completely buried or anything yet. I just wanted to set this up and get it running. And I thought I would bring everybody along to give them an idea of what I'm doing. I'm going to bring an update once I kind of get some data and see how this is working for me and see if it's gonna be feasible to actually heat these beds and see how warm I can get this water. So if anybody had any questions or ideas, please drop them in the comments below. I love hearing from everybody to get better ideas because this is just me thinking here so if I get somebody else's input thinking outside the box they might have a better idea for what I was just kind of experimenting with here so I want to thank everybody for all of the input I've gotten up to this point and for all the help along the way and I really appreciate everybody watching these videos 